Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? Sorry about my background and stuff. I can see that it's really messy, but I needed to get this video to you before I went to work. And so here it is. I did the salt water blush. And I have to say, it wasn't too bad. Um, I was gonna start to get into it, but actually I'll have you to watch the video of me mixing everything together and drinking it. It is hilarious. I left the sound on while I'm drinking and it's probably like a little bit of an ASMR type of thing, but um, just stay tuned for that. And then once that's done, or if you wanna skip through it, I'll talk about what happened after I did the salt water cleanse and a little bit of what was happening during the salt water cleanse that I was doing. This is essentially everything you'll need. If you can find a 32 ounce glass, you will actually be fine. But for me, I had to split mine between two glasses, one 16 ounce of water in one and 16 ounces of water in the other. Then I poured my sea salt into my teaspoon. I accidentally made an accident or mess and some of it poured too much in one. So I just poured the rest of it in the other. Um, and I counted that as my two teaspoons. I use just regular sea salt. I suggest you probably do the organic like they suggest. Um, I'll let you know if anything changes due to the fact that I used the one. I stirred it and pretty soon you shall see me drinking from that stainless steel container in the back. And here we go. <laughs>
okay so at this point you probably should have watched the episode of me trying to drink the salt water and the little bit of the beginning of me preparing the salt water so drinking 32 ounces of water is already hard for me so forcing myself to drink 32 ounces of salt water was harder especially in one sitting so even though that was sped up it took me 10 minutes like 10 plus minutes to actually drink all that salt water it was so hard like I watched um, this one guy do it he drank it all in one and I believe that he probably sped it up but he definitely drank it all in like well one technically two big huge sips I'll link his thing down below because this is actually where I got most of my information from there's also another girl who did it like completely wrong and she ended up throwing up and losing weight I'm pretty sure I didn't lose any weight but I that she was the first person I seen do this and then he was the person who kind of like um helped me to understand what you're supposed to do because she clearly did it all the way wrong and she threw up and that's how she lost weight I'm pretty sure I didn't lose weight because I only just went poop once I felt like I was gonna go poop another time oh yeah this is gonna get graphic I felt like I was gonna go poop another time but I really wanted to go to sleep so I forced myself to go to <laughs> and then I forced myself to go to sleep instead of going to the bathroom so hopefully while I'm at work I won't have to go but knowing me I probably will so I'll um probably add in when I went poop a second time just in case it was due to that depending on how it comes out I'll let you know if it was due to that or due to something else but I'm pretty sure this next one would be due to the salt water flush I want to call it the challenge so better but it's not a challenge like don't don't do this as a challenge thing do this if you um want to have clean a clean inner stomach do this if maybe you're going somewhere just do it for a positive reason not to lose weight like some people are making it seem like you can do and I'm pretty sure you probably can lose weight from doing this but that's honestly not my goal I don't even kind of like eat healthy to begin with and I don't do things with um sorry my tv is above me so I keep looking up and I don't even do things with apple cider vinegar I used to I was supposed to do some a whole entire apple cider vinegar thing while I was doing this but that didn't end up working out because I never got a new apple cider vinegar and I'm not sure if mine's expired so I'm not drinking the one that might be expired and I was supposed to do the salt water yesterday and last week but I was on my period and I kind of didn't want to do this type of thing while being on that because you just never know um i don't know if it was gonna affect me or not like in a bad way by doing that but my stomach was already off the rocker so i didn't want to i feel like the results would kind of be like tainted since when i'm on my period i'm already when i'm on my period i'm already going poop quite a bit so like i didn't want to do that because then i mean who knows maybe the poop was just because i'm on my period or maybe it was because i actually did this challenge give me one second So let me just give you the timing of when everything went down. So as you've seen in the video, I said that I was finally done drinking the water at 8.45 and it took me about 10 minutes. So that means I probably started somewhere around 8.35, 8.30 something. All right. So and then so I guess I want to say so. So in the one guy's video um, that I'm going to put below, he said that you would probably go poop or defecate I want to just use poo because I like that better <laughs> childish um you would probably do that within 30 to 45 minutes it took me actually almost an hour or like I guess it's 45 minutes 50 minutes maybe because no no, no definitely an hour because I'm like looking at my paper it definitely took me an hour because at 9 32 I went pee <laughs> And it takes me, I'm like a camel, I don't go pee often, so I'm pretty sure it was because of the drinking 32 ounces of water. I'm pretty sure it was because of that. And then at 9.48 is when I was just like, okay, um, and pr I'm pretty sure maybe even at 9.45, but I didn't want it to be exact, so I'm just like, let me go with the time that I actually sat on the toilet. Like around before then, I could feel my stomach going like, you know, I'm like farting and all this other stuff so I'm like it's probably about that time to <laughs> use the loo so I did that and I probably was on the toilet until 9 55 almost 10 minutes but it was more like 7 because first 
it came out hard then i went pee and then it came out runny af so maybe that's the part of it that was actually a salt water challenge or maybe the whole thing maybe those hard pee soft <laughs> was the whole thing so that's what i ended up doing um and it was definitely interesting because i'm like i know i don't have to do this kind of poop like the runny one i'm usually like a solid pooper <laughs> unless I eat something wrong then I'm gonna be like <sighs> but like no it was um it was a combination of both and maybe it did cleanse me um I don't know <laughs> I don't do this often I don't have a scale I'm, I'm highly sure I did not lose any type of weight maybe if I did it like the one girl who I said whose video I seen first who threw up her life I would have lost weight but I did not throw up and I did not want to do it wrong like she did like I, I don't want to throw up <laughs> so yeah I just use this um sea salt and you're supposed to use sea salt <laughs> Uh, you're supposed to actually use organic sea salt, not just regular, but I already had brought this and I'm like, mm, I might as well just use this one because, you know, I might as well. So, yeah, that's honestly all I have to really say about this salt water flush. Uh, it actually makes you poop, so there's that. So make sure to allot some time or a day to do this because I don't have to go to work until 4, so that's why I did it around like well clearly eat something in the morning because i'm like oh that's plenty of time to like you know do what i gotta do especially if to say that you go poop in such a short period of time but hopefully i don't have to go again <laughs> um and if i do like i said i will put it in this video and also maybe i'll do this again and tell you what the difference is when i do it again and maybe i'll actually do it with the correct sea salt which is supposed to be organic sea salt but that is about it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like to, you can follow me on my social media at Maya Maya underscore love, M-A-Y-A, M-A-Y-A underscore L-O-V-E. Um, and if you have any questions, I'm pretty sure I explained everything that happened. Any graphic nastiness, I put it in here. So if there's anything else that you want me to explain about this challenge, feel free to ask below. Um, and yeah. Bye.